We saw in part one and part two how to complete the square to solve quadratics. And in both of those videos, I kept saying how completing the square makes plotting the graph really easy. In this video, we're going to look at how. So we have this quadratic, which we completed the square and solved. If we then show it on a graph, what do you notice about the numbers from completing the square and the points on the graph? Pause the video and have a think. Hopefully, you can see that the negative five is where the curve crosses the y-axis. This is the same for all quadratics. Nothing special about completing the square. The solutions, so the five and negative one, are where the curve crosses the x-axis. Also nothing new here. This is the same whichever way you use to solve the quadratic. But the great thing about completing the square is that the two negative nine gives us the turning point, so the minimum or maximum. This is also called the vertex. So the first number, we change the sign, and the second number, we keep as it is. That can be a bit tricky to remember. Change the sign of the first number, but keep the second the same. I've always just remembered second same, and that's worked for me. Here's a question for you to do. Pause the video, sketch the graph, and click play when you're ready to check. Did you get it right? One more for you to look at. Be careful, it's a negative quadratic, so it's going to be an upside down U shape. Pause the video, sketch the graph, and click play when you're ready to check. Did you get it right? So there we have completing the square to plot the graph. The vertex is the minimum or maximum point on the curve and can be found using these two numbers. Just remember, second same. So we change the sign of the first number, but we keep the sign of the second number the same. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.